everybody, how you doing today? So I wanted to show up and talk about frequencies. I've been watching a lot of Bob Proctor and Napoleon Hill videos and it's very interesting because they talk about the same thing as I talk about and that's about attaining a different paradigm in your subconscious so you can create what you want in your life. So maybe right now you're working your butt off. Maybe nothing really seems too magical in your life. But that doesn't mean what yesterday was will be what today is. And once you understand how to use frequencies to create your life, your whole life is going to change. Uh, Tony Robbins talks about being peak, peak performance. What is that? He's talking about being in a high frequency. Because when you're in a high frequency, everything you've ever wanted magically just flows into your life. And when you're in a low frequency, it doesn't matter how much you work or how much money you have, things won't go well. So if we just boil it down to what's the most important thing you can do in your life, it's to be in a high frequency. And then there's a lot of people that'll be like, I don't even know what a high frequency is. That's why I wrote the book. So I wrote this great book. Um, actually, I channeled the original information about frequencies. Um, I had a near-death experience and I had a guardian angel show up to me in dreams and start giving me information about frequencies and math, things I didn't know anything about, and Mayan calendar and the holographic universe and Pythagorean theory. And before I knew it, I broke a code in the Mayan calendar and I was considered one of the experts on the science of frequency. Go figure. Believe me, I did not see this coming either. You know, I was an English major. I was writing scripts in Hollywood. I'm like, what am I getting this math information for? I don't even like math. Anyway, long story short, it led me to the rainforest with top scientists. I wrote this first book on frequency. And then for years, I went and I lectured on the science of frequencies, teaching people about it and how to use it. And then throughout the years, I realized that a lot of people, even though they understood the science then, because it's really the science of your sixth sense, they didn't understand how to apply that science. How do you use the science of frequency to create things? So after working with the attendees at my lectures, I lectured for like three years, I started to put together a five-step simple process to help people go from step one, two, three, four, five to manifesting what you want magically with no money. I know this sounds crazy, but it's true. I've lived it. My clients have lived it. My book, Secrets the Secret Never Told You, is all about my own personal stories and my clients' personal stories and how they manifested things with absolutely no money. I manifested a restaurant, owning a restaurant in Hollywood, movie stars coming in all the time. I had no money. I was a single mom. I manifested a, a Mercedes in my, in my garage. Uh, it's free. Uh, and I, you know, it came in a bizarre, divine way. And then most recently, I've um, manifested traveling the world, which is something everybody wants to do and I always wanted to do, but I thought it would take millions and millions of dollars. But the way it came through for me was amazing. And I never would have thought about it. And that's the best part about working with frequency. Because in the third dimension, we always think only money is going to get us what we want. Only if somehow we run into this windfall of money, we get a great job, we win the lottery or something like that happens. And then whew, all our wishes can come true because all the money is there. But what I found is that it doesn't come through with money. It comes through in bizarre divine coincidences that you would never imagine and that is actually one of the best parts about it because you realize that you're really not alone that there is you know a divine force working in your life and when things show up without money it really helps you remember that you know you're not alone and you don't have to figure it out alone and there is miracles I mean our miracles available to you all the time and even if that miracle isn't something like saving a life or or dire like that maybe if that miracle is just like wow you finally got to see a different part of the world and meet people that you never would have met and it filled your life with joy that's a miracle it's a miracle when you manifest something that brings you joy and makes your spirit sing. So today, I wanted to um, give you my book for free. It's um, two of my best-selling books together um, under a, a new 
um, complete set called The Frequency. And I'm going to leave the link. You can download it today for free. Read it. Go change your life. You have no excuses. I show you exactly how to do it. It's really simple. It's innate. You're, you're meant to know how to do it. We got tricked into, you know working our butts off and being afraid all the time, which is exactly the opposite of what you need to manifest with no money. And that whole thing, you know, we put in God, we trust on the money, but it's really in money we trust, right? But once you start working with a frequency, you realize you don't need money. That miracles come through people and bizarre circumstances you would never expect. And I cannot wait until you read this book and you start manifesting things for yourself and you come back and you tell me, oh my God, Linda, I can't believe the way this came through. I can't believe the way I got this.